Hello everyone I'm Imran and you're watching my YouTube news channel. Today the world of international finance is a complex and ever evolving landscape, often subject to speculation and anticipation. In recent times, one of the topics that has captured the attention of investors, financial analysts, and even the general public is the potential revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. IQD. In this comprehensive analysis, we will delve into a paragraph that discusses various aspects of this intriguing subject. The Iraqi dinar evaluation, often referred to as the RV. The RV is essentially a hypothetical scenario where the value of the Iraqi dinar would increase significantly relative to major international currencies, notably the US dollar. This has been a topic of speculation and discussion for years with proponents and skeptics offering various viewpoints. Trade and business agreements The trade and business agreements have been signed in Iraq. This is a crucial aspect to consider when discussing currency revaluation. Trade agreements can have a significant impact on a country's economic stability and its currency's value. Trade agreements often involve partnerships and deals between countries or entities, aimed at facilitating the exchange of goods and services. When Iraq signs such agreements, it indicates a willingness to engage in international commerce and open its markets to the global economy. This can lead to increased foreign investment and economic growth, both of which can influence the value of a nation's currency. The mention of these agreements in the implies that Iraq may be taking steps toward creating a more favorable economic environment which could potentially support the revaluation of its currency. The U.S. interest in the RV The paragraph is the assertion that the U.S. needs the RV. This statement raises several questions. Why would the United States have an interest in the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar? What role does the U.S. play in the Iraqi economy? And how does the RV align with its interests? The US has a significant stake in the stability and development of Iraq. The US has been involved in Iraq for many years, both militarily and economically. After the overthrow of Saddam Hussein's regime, the US became deeply involved in Iraq's reconstruction and political stabilization efforts. As a result, the US has a vested interest in Iraq's economic well-being. The potential revaluation of the Iraqi dinar could benefit the US in several ways. A stronger Iraqi currency could make it more attractive for US businesses to invest in Iraq. Additionally, it could enhance Iraq's ability to pay back any debts or financial commitments it has with the US government or U.S. based entities. Therefore, the US may indeed have an interest in the RV albeit for its own strategic and economic reasons. The anticipation and expectations that often surround discussions of currency revaluation. Those who hold Iraqi dinars or have a stake in Iraq's economic development may eagerly await such an event, as it could potentially result in a substantial increase in the value of their holdings. The urgency implied here may be rooted in the belief that all the necessary prerequisites for the RV have been met and the time is right for the currency's revaluation to occur. Optimism about the RV The expresses optimism by stating that everything needed or wanted before the RV is done. This assertion implies that the speaker believes that Iraq has taken the necessary steps or met the prerequisites for a successful revaluation. Optimism about the RV is common among those who hold Iraqi dinars or have vested interests in Iraq's economic development. It reflects the belief that the Iraqi government and relevant authorities have made progress in stabilizing the economy and creating a conducive environment for the currency's revaluation. However, it's essential to approach such statements with caution as the revaluation of a national currency is a complex and multifaceted process influenced by various economic, political, and global factors. Iraq's ambition to join the WTO The Iraq's desire to join the World Trade Organization WTO. The WTO is an international organization that deals with the global rules of trade between nations. Membership in the WTO can have far-reaching implications for a country's economy. The mention of Iraq's interest in joining the WTO is significant because it underscores the country's aspiration to become a fully integrated participant in the global economy. It indicates a willingness to adopt international trade norms and regulations which can lead to increased trade opportunities and economic growth. However, 
Joining the WTO is not a straightforward process. Countries seeking membership must meet specific criteria and often undergo substantial economic reforms to align with international trade standards. In Iraq's case, the country is still 90% dependent on oil exports. This heavy reliance on a single commodity for revenue can be a challenge when it comes to meeting WTO membership requirements. To become a full member of the WTO, a country typically needs to diversify its economy, reduce trade barriers, and implement various economic reforms. Therefore, Iraq's ambition to join the WTO is closely tied to its broader economic goals and the potential impact on its currency. The Iraqi dinar's revaluation, trade agreements, the U.S. interest, Iraq's economic conditions, and its ambition to join the WTO. Each of these aspects is interconnected and offers valuable insights into the complex dynamics of Iraq's economic landscape and its aspirations on the international stage. The discussion of the Iraqi dinar evaluation highlights the anticipation and speculation surrounding this event, driven by the belief that favorable conditions may pave the way for a significant increase in the currency's value. Trade agreements and Iraq's interest in joining the WTO underscore its commitment to economic development and international integration, while the U.S. interest in the RV emphasizes its stake in Iraq's economic stability. The Iraqi dinar's revaluation remains a topic of great interest and debate, influenced by a multitude of factors that extend beyond the scope of this analysis. Understanding the implications of such a revaluation requires a holistic view of Iraq's economy, international relations, and global economic trends. As with any financial matter, it's essential thanks for watching and subscribe for more information.